Hey there, it's Asia. How are you guys doing today? Um, this is my, I think, third time I've tried to upload or tried to record this um, video. The first time, I don't even know what happened the first time. Then I was just uploading it before this and my oven went off. Well, it didn't go off. I got up to do, oh, my grandma called. That's why. So my grandma just called and I was like, oh my gosh, I put... I don't know if you guys, if any of you guys are my Facebook friends, um, and I do have several uh, friends on Facebook that are in the crafty YouTube world, so I had watched, I, and sorry for all of you that are my friends, I share every single recipe I see on Facebook because I love to cook and I have tried so many different recipes that I've seen, um, and one of them is to take a potato and you cut it, you don't cut it all the way through, you cut it so that it's still, you know, it's together. So you take it and you cut it into like slices, but you don't cut all the way through the potato. You cut like three quarters of the way down without cutting it into pieces. So it's still a whole potato, but you know, it's just got slices in it. So when you bake it in the oven, it op kind of opens up and, um, it's really, really good. I made some yesterday, and I'm making some for dinner tonight. Um, I'm, I make dinner in the mornings because my son, um, he goes to school, and he does not like the school lunches. I know this is like way off top topic. Sorry, guys, but he does not like school lunches. Um, and then when he does eat, he's still hungry when he gets home. So he wants dinner like it. 2.30 when he gets off school. So, and he doesn't eat lunch type foods. He's not a sandwich eater. Anyways, I so off topic, but back to the potatoes. I put them, so what you do is after you cut them, I sliced, I think, um, I think I made six potatoes. They're, they were all the ones that I had left and they're the, the golden or the white potatoes. They're just easier to cut um, and they're not dirty like the russets are. Anyways, so I put them in the oven earlier today. I don't even know what time it is now. But I put them in the oven earlier today, and I will get to this in just a second. So I put them in the oven for, I think, 40 minutes. No, 35 minutes. The timer went off. I went and checked them. They weren't done. Well, then I came in here and was busy doing whatever, crafting. And, oops. Anyway, so I came in here to was crafting my grandma called and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't hear the timer go off. Well, it went off like 20 minutes ago. Thankfully, I checked them and they were just, just almost um, too cooked. They were, I mean, they're perfect. Thankfully, I checked them because oh, I hate like mushy potatoes, except unless they're like a mashed potato. So that was my little like three minute video of me explaining how I overcooked my potatoes. <laughs> um, so to this, this is something that I have worked on. Um, I worked on it yesterday and then I finished it today. And it's just one of these little birdhouses you get at Michael's. No, I think I got them at the Dollar Tree, sorry. These were actually from Michael's. Hold on a second. I love the pause feature on my Samsung um, S4. I want the S6 so bad. Anyway, and I will be getting it. But, okay. So, I have this style. This one is really, really cute. I love the star. And I have this one still to alter. So I started off with this one because I thought this was really cute. It's like a two-story type um, little, what do you call it? Bird box? It's not a bird box. Anyway, so I started off with the roof. I really love the color. Um, and then I don't know what I was thinking when I used the silver mixative um, alcohol ink on this. I don't like the color. I'm thinking I could possibly go over it with another alcohol ink and have it just kind of be shimmery but not be the silver. Because silver and uh, brown 
don't really go together. So I messed up on this and I thought, you know what, I'll set that aside and I'll move to this one. Um, they're all unfinished. So was this one. And I think I did get these at Michael's in like the dollar section, I believe. Um, my nose is like nonstop running. Okay. Sorry. I had to wipe my nose. So I used these three alcohol inks. I used the, and I, these are all, okay. So the brown and the purple are the earth tone. And this one doesn't say which one it is, but I used the color ginger, slate, and eggplant. Sorry. I've got a light over here and then a light in like to the side of me. So I used those three colors and this was really, really easy. All you have to do is open the alcohol ink and just kind of start at the top and kind of just apply it. It blends or it kind of bleeds out, which is nice. And I just took this and kind of went over it. Um, until every area of the roof and the under, um, what do you call it, was uh, covered. And then I took some of my Pearl X in number 664 Super Bronze, and I sparingly brushed it on. I wanted to do kind of like a distressed look, and you can see it's not all over the roof. It just kind of, I don't know, maybe it doesn't, maybe it does. Sorry, we'll, go, we'll get to this in a minute. So I thought it was just, I just loved the color. It's darker and I liked that it was a little darker. Um, then after doing that, I used my eggplant and I covered the body of the house. And um, this is more of the color it turned out. It was kind of like a cross between a purple and a gray. And I didn't really like it. It was a little dark. Um, so that's when, and I actually, I think I used the um, the perfect pearls on the this part then I applied this to the roof so I used this perfect pearls in forever violet and again I just kind of used it sparingly just to you know make it look distressed some areas like in here have more than others I know it's kind of dark even though don't know why it's doing this anyway so yeah there you can see a little better without being too bright and then for the base of the house I used the alcohol ink in slate and it's just like a dark silver kind of a gray color along the bottom and then I used this perfect pearls no pearl X sorry in 662 antique silver please focus it doesn't want to focus it's making me like okay so I guess you got to get it close for it to and I'm sorry my fingernails and my hands are so dirty from crafting um anyway so after I did that, um, I found a little tray over here of goodies I was going to use, and some I did use. I found these um, purple flatback pearls, and these are either in two or four millimeter. I'm thinking they're four uh, millimeter. And used some of my Scotch quick dry adhesive and just glued these around the heart. And actually, I had another pearl on here and it was too much so I just kind of took that one away and um, ended up looking like that and I really love the purple the purple just matches that perfect the pearl perfect pearls and so I really like how that turned out and then I put one on the little um, stand okay moving along okie dokie so moving along um, long, sorry, I found this little wooden, it just looks like a bird's nest to me. So I glued this on here with my quick dry adhesive as well. And last night before I went to bed, because I didn't want it to fall off or move, I just propped it up on one of these um, Pearl X 
uh, little bottles. So that's how, or I, so I propped it up on there and it dried exactly where I wanted it to. Well then, after I propped it up, I found these Makey Memory Wire Words and Emotions. And yeah, these are Wire Word Emotions. So, and I used the one that says Create. And this one actually has um, a couple little beads on it there, there, and over here. You can't really see them unless you get like right up close. Do you see them there? So this was actually in the middle here. Well, I didn't realize last night when I propped it up, it slid over, but I think actually it looks much better here than it did in the center. So then after I glued this on, I had it propped up for a little bit. I thought, you know, because I, I didn't have any little eggs. I bought a set of these from Walmart, but these are like actual eggs. Um, those would like not cut it. Um, I thought they were smaller, but they're not. Um, so I just took some clay in let me find the colors for you guys I mixed colors and that's how they gave them kind of a, a mixed I don't know and they're a little bigger than I wanted to but oh well so I used do, 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 what did I use okay so I used this primo um, accents in frost white glitter and then I also used some Primo in sorry guys Primo in what is that denim and then I just mix the two together they I had my daughter I had a bunch of like brand new packets of clay and my daughter came in here a couple times and played with it and then some of it dried out so I was trying to mix the two together. It was like falling apart. So I ended up putting it in the microwave, which softened it. And was I was finally able to, you know, to make it pliable so that I could mix it together. And um, so that's how this turned out. So they're a little glittery, which I think is cute. But they are a little too big in my mind. But anyways. And then I found some... Recollections, the little roses that you get in the three packs that have a like their recollections. They, I know that Michaels had them several years ago back when they would. I don't know if they still do this, but they would clearance out their flowers like this. I'll just pull one out for a dollar ninety nine. And this is the purple one that I used, but they came in a set like this, and it was like a light, a dark, and then a darker purple. So that's what I used for that. And then that is it. I like keeping things more on the simple side. And I have a hard time um, trying to place things. Like, I mean, I think the roof looks good just the way it is. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it could use anything else? Let me know. So that is my finished birdhouse. And you don't use um very much it seems like you'd use a lot of alcohol ink but you don't um this bottle is this is what i used on the roof and there it's still full i mean it's i mean it's almost 100 percent or almost three quarters of the way full still so you don't use as much as you think you would that's the finished product i hope you guys enjoy sorry i rambled for a little bit um and then I have something, I have another video to share with you guys after this one uploads because for some reason my phone only allows so many videos um, for me to store. So I had found a bunch of my daughter's, um, sorry guys, a bunch of her, um, Hair accessories. I love this. And then this one. I found a bunch of them 
And when I was looking for flowers to use with the, um, the birdhouse, I had found a bunch of these Michael's dollar flowers. And I wanted to use them. I wanted to um, alter these and then use them on some of her, um, oh, what are these called? Oh, jeez, I can't think. To pull back her hair. Because um, neither one of us have bangs. Um, her bangs have also grown out. So, I don't know. I'm working on these next. That'll be in the video. Um, and then I found a, I have two of these butterflies. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to start working today on some Mother's Day cards because Mother's Day, sorry about that, is next weekend. And, um, I don't know why I have the time. I might as well get that, uh, or, you know, work on those. And I think that's it for this video. I am very um, happy with how my birdhouse, sorry, the light is not working in my favor. Okay. So I hope you guys are happy with the final product. I definitely am. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. And like I said, stay tuned over maybe, maybe today I'll have a couple done. Um, and over the next couple days to see my finished Mother's Day cards. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry about my, sorry about my rambling and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.